Well guys, I've been out this morning turkey hunting. This is the uh, third day of our, our season. Turned off really cold. Yesterday I went out a little bit and it started snowing and blowing. Uh, pretty weird for this time of year, but anyway, uh, back out this morning. The turkeys are all on the neighbor's place, sounds like, so I got sidetracked. Found me a whole bunch of morel mushrooms here. And uh, it's been a while since I found that many, and big ones too, so. Anyway guys, the turkey hunting will continue. Well, the turkey hunting did not go well at home. Uh, our turkey numbers seem to be way down, and I actually did not see any turkeys uh, on the place I could hunt. But my brother from Wyoming gave me a call and invited me to come out to Wyoming. Uh, to hunt with him, so I headed out there and uh, we set up camp and hunted for the next about three and a half days. down here in eastern Wyoming this one's got some good fat wood in it I'll chop it off and show you guys how it looks on the inside Maybe. so that nice orange color is what you're looking for back up in the sun a little bit because I can't there you hold right there yeah yeah. So these rotten logs where the branches 
go into the log a lot of times they're going to have fat wood too i'll see if i can just open that up yeah i see that orange i'm not going to harvest this one because it's not quite rotten enough but that orange on there it's another good place when they're rotten enough you can just kick these right off and then take them back and clean them up a little bit Okay guys, so these uh, turkeys, they were actually roosted on the neighbor's place across the fence where we could not hunt. So after watching them for a while, they kind of meandered off. Um, but a Jake split off and came back to our calls. And um, he came up uh, probably 25 yards. And if you listen closely, you can hear Cliff shoot, but he just had a, uh, the famous flash in the pan. So he got away from us. So a little while later that same morning we uh, we spotted another gobbler that had split off and come over across the fence onto our property that we could hunt. So we quickly uh, tried to get around him and get ahead of him where we could ambush him, uh, put out a decoy, and uh, just waited him to come over the hill. Uh, the footage is not very good, uh, but you can kind of see what happens. I He come around to my side and uh, I shot first, it was a little too far and then uh, Cliff had to put another round in Jim. Get him, get him, get him. He's wounded, he's wounded. He's down there in that draw. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you got him. I, I think I hit him, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he was, he was acting wounded. And the gun went off. Thank God. Maybe 10. It's pretty 
pretty good beer for Miriam's, I'd say. So what's the difference between the, the Miriam's and you guys' turkeys? The white, those white feathers. That's stuff right here. Yeah, and they're, I think they're a little bit darker body too, maybe. And they're just smaller. Yeah, they do look kind of small, don't they? Alright guys, we finally got it done. It's kind of a, a group effort. We, we spotted this turkey oh, a quarter mile back um, to our north, I guess. And so we, we slipped around, tried to get around in front of him because he wasn't responding to all the calls. And our setup was a little bit weird. We kind of have a hill right here. And so we put out one decoy and he came over to my side and I shot. It was Probably a little stretch, probably 30 yards. And uh, it rocked him. I seen him kind of halfway go down. But then he got up to take off and he stopped luckily and Cliff was able to shoot him and put him down. So, not really sure whose bird it is, but we got one anyway. Lame.